What's going on Omni Buddies? Mitch here and today I have a long requested, uh, long awaited video that I have, I constantly get questions and comments asking when this video is going to come out because I'm obsessed with the series and a lot of people are very curious. They've heard about it uh, coming to Netflix. It's been around for 35 years. Yes, I'm talking about the Usagi Yojimbo by Stan Saki reading order video. All right, so it's a 35 year long running series. Pretty much all one story by Stan Sakai, who is the artist, he's the writer, he's a brilliant mind. Uh, not only is his art amazing and does it evolve over the years, uh, but even when you go back, his uh, original art is still amazing and still holds up. Uh, his new art, you can see the evolution in it and it's still beautiful, it's still amazing. Uh, it's currently now moved from black and white after I think it was about 33 years to color and might take a little bit of getting used to after reading black and white for so long, uh, but it's still amazing. So Usagi Ojimbo launched in 1987. There was appearances here and there with Albedo number two and things like that. Uh, that book is selling for crazy amounts of money now that the Netflix uh, Netflix uh, series has been announced but where you need to start is with the Fantagraphics box set that is a two box or two volume box set uh, by Fantagraphics and that collects everything in there during that era that you need to be reading and need to know about so you start there then it moves on to its second publisher which was Mirage and Mirage had it for 16 issues and that was um, I think about 1993 and there's some mini series in there Space Usagi and things like that after the volume two in Mirage volume one is Fantagraphics sorry volume one is Fantagraphics volume two is Mirage and then volume three is where the meat of it was because Stan was there for about 25 years with Dark Horse and Dark Horse ran from about 1995 to uh, most recently 2018 when they then switched to volume four and he switched publishers from Dark Horse to IDW and IDW is where TMNT has been sitting for so long and if you know about the series and uh, TMNT and uh, Usagi Ojimbo, Stan took a lot of inspiration from the uh, from Kevin Eastman, Tom Waltz, all those guys who launched their own independent series with TMNT and that inspired him to launch Usagi Ojimbos. So there's a lot of tie overs and if you're reading the stories, uh, TMNT pop up from time to time. I think the first one was in issue number 10 in the Fantagraphics. So when you start reading, you don't have to wait too long for the Ninja Turtles to appear. So after 25 years with Dark Horse, Stan then Yes, moved to IDW and he has been there. It is now 2021 as of the making of this video. He's been there for about three years now. And IDW is doing a colorized version of Usagi Yojimbo. And though it might take a little bit of getting used to, it's still amazing. Uh, his art has now evolved from black and white. Now it's being colorized and it is great. Uh, IDW is also doing another thing where they have gotten the rights to recolorize everything. So they are going back through the Fantagraphics era um, and colorizing it. They're not doing the exact reading order. They're doing a little bit different of a reading order, but it's still a good reading order. I would recommend if you don't want to pick up those single issues from time to time, uh, they'll also be doing trade paperback publishing. We'll see if they do some hard covers from IDW and color, uh, but they are, I would recommend. And right now is actually a great time because uh, Fantagraphics has announced a reprint and it should be out as of the making of this video in about a week. Uh, the Fantagraphics hardcover two volume box set of Usagi Ojimbo, which is a perfect place to start, like I said, and it is a, beautiful collection. So start there. And then Dark Horse has been reprinting uh, trade paperbacks volume one. Volume two is coming out soon. There is volumes one through nine and a volume called Legends. I think Legends takes place between volume uh, eight and nine. So it actually goes one through eight, Legends, then nine. 
and you can read it in that order. Or, you know, Legends is a little bit of a bunch of one-off stories. So it's not really going to affect you too much. You can go one through nine, then Legends, or one through eight, Legends, nine. So after you read volume nine and then Legends, or Legends and then volume nine, then you can immediately jump into the IDW volume four era, which currently has the Bunraku, Bunraku, and other stories, which is a trade paperback and also a hardcover by IDW. And now they have a trade paperback volume two called Homecoming. There's no hardcover of that yet, but there is a trade paperback. So that's what your reading order really is going to be. It's going to be the Fantagraphics box set, volumes one through nine, plus the Legends of Dark Horse. And then you're going to jump into IDW, Bunraku, and other stories, uh, volume one, and then Homecoming, volume two. That's it. It's kind of kind of wonky how it all kind of jumps publisher to publisher. But what's great is uh, there's that if you if you're paying attention, there's Fantagraphics, Mirage, Dark Horse, then IDW. I only mentioned three for reading order. That's because Dark Horse actually kind of absorbed those 16 issues from Mirage. So all you have to do is worry about picking up that box set from Fantagraphics, those 10 volumes from Dark Horse and the two trade paperbacks currently out for IDW. And that's it, then you're done. Uh, great way to read it if you're a digital reader. Most all of it, I think all of it, is actually available online through Comixology and all those other sites. So you can pick them up there. Or what you can do, like I mentioned, that reprint of Fantagraphics box sets coming out soon and probably is out, so the prices are at least hopefully low right now. We'll see, I'll probably be eating those words. Uh, Dark Horse has a beautiful hardcover collection, which is what you're seeing and been seeing in all this, uh, all these shots. Um, but they also have amazing trade paperbacks and it's the exact same content, it's the exact same layouts. It's just a little bit different uh, covers, basically. It's trade paperback versus hardcover. They're not signed and numbered like the hardcovers are, but they're the exact same content, same trim size, so you're getting the same size artwork and all of that. And those trade paperbacks look beautiful on your shelf also seen tons of pictures and videos of people doing those so don't worry about that uh, dark horse still has the rights to print the black and white same for fantagraphics so they are still reprinting from time to time the trade paperbacks and dark horse is currently they just print reprinted trade paperback volume one and they're reprinting uh, volume two in trade paperback very soon i think three was just solicited as of the making of this video so they're going back through it's a perfect time to be picking those up if you miss the fantagraphics or don't want to do those early years you can start at volume one in dark horse and not worry about missing out on too much there'll be a little bit of history and stories that you kind of as you're reading you're like i think i'm kind of missing something there but it's still totally readable you don't have to worry too much about it i read volume one of dark horse first and i went i need to read fantagraphics so i got a hold of that set went back read volume uh one and two of the fantagraphics skimmed back through one on dark horse and then have continued on and it's been a beautiful, wonderful journey that I'm savoring and still taking my time through, but it's amazing. And Julie Sakai, Sak Sakai, sorry, Sakai, Sakai uh, is now uh, doing a thing called Chibi Usagi and that is these cute little chubby, adorable Usagi and Tomoka and Jen and all these other characters and it's a beautiful kid's story and it's adapted to be fun and cute and whimsical and they came out with the first trade paperback of that so make sure to check that out and do all that. Now there's a bunch of other stories, uh, TMNT and things like that and crossovers and there's books that collect those crossovers. There's a ton of different smaller hardcovers that you can get. I think they're about one every year so there's about 35 of those smaller hardcovers they're about the same trim size but they're very thin um, a lot of those are super rare hard to find i would recommend just going the trade paperback routes and not worrying about trying to track down all those individual series but the tmnt series those are all included in like the legends book of um dark horse so you don't have to worry about going and grabbing all those different trade paperbacks or anything like that they're all right there for you to use Anyways, I hope that helps. I hope my rambling drew you in somehow to where you are excited to read this series because this series is my favorite of all time. And if you're not reading it, you need to be reading it. You need to find it, track it down, buy them, and get them on your shelf. All right, that's it. Remember to like, 
subscribe, uh, hit the bell for notifications, share, do all those things, but most importantly, comment. Have you read Usagi? Have you not? Why? Why haven't you been reading it? Comment, do all those things. Uh, love talking with you guys. Make sure to share this video. If people are confused about the reading order, uh, hopefully this clears it up a little bit more. But that's it. Take care, stay safe.